Well, very, very long day. Uh, the obvious question was fatigue a factor late in that game? No, fatigue was never a factor. Um, I'm just really proud of my team uh, for the way that they hung in there all week. Uh, a lot of lot of ups and downs. A lot of it was a roller coaster ride here this week, but we battled hard. We did everything we could to. Uh, get ourselves right back in this, and even though it wasn't meant to be this year, I think we're going to come out of this a lot stronger, uh, stronger than ever. What about the, uh, the ninth end shot? Obviously, that one will stand out, and I'm sure that's going to bug you for a while. Uh, no, no. You know what? The shot in nine isn't going to bother me. Um, there, there's always going to be shots in the sport of curling. Um, great ones, you know, ones that you want to have back. But uh, like I said, I'm just really proud of my guys. I'm really proud of the fact that we were able to stick together through thick and thin this week and uh, even though we missed that shot nine we were determined to get three and ten even though you know it didn't work out that way everybody had a great attitude just all week long and that's uh, that's what I'm most proud of and excited about the future going forward obviously a big year next year for you guys as well going into the trials year yeah yeah it you know we've got a lot to play for still this season um, on the on the World Curling Tour, and uh, we're just going to keep building. We're going to take this experience, chalk it up as a, as a really good learning experience. We'll debrief this and see if we can make some changes uh, some and just a, a, maybe adopt a few new things. But still, I think we're, we're right where we want to be, and uh, we're going to keep working hard. That was quite an entertaining game of curling, and uh, obviously the ninth end steel will stand out, but uh, it was back and forth all game yeah it was uh what a terrible ninth end we played and unfortunately made a hit and roll on the last and got a miss from brad uh you know that's typically the way our games go i i seen the stat up on the board where i think we were even head to head and the points were almost even it's just we're we always have those battles there's not too many where it actually goes one one way or the other or lopsided one way or the other so um we knew it was going to kind of come down to the last rock and and it did and uh you know fortunately with a good hit and roll in nine and ten uh we pulled it out how much does the battle that you've been through all this week to get to this point uh, set you up for tomorrow? <laughs> well, we know what to expect, that's for sure. Uh, you know, I, I think we, we look through the stats of what every team has curled against us, and it's pretty high, <laughs> you know. So we, we haven't had anybody roll over against us, so we certainly don't expect that tomorrow. We're going to have to have as good a performance tomorrow as we had today to, to win. And, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough the rest of the week, but... I like the way we're playing. We got to tighten it up a little bit. I thought our draw weight was just a little bit off today. We were a foot or two heavy and a foot or two light on some shots where we really had an opportunity to apply some pressure, and, and hopefully we can uh, we can fix that tomorrow. Fred, do you think the rest you guys had was did that help you? Uh, it didn't hurt. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, it's been a long week. Uh, certainly, I'd rather be in our position than than Brad's playing three games. Uh, but sometimes it's nice, like a, if we had played one game, certainly that second game is a little bit easier. You get a feel for the ice. But I thought we caught on pretty quick and, and had an opportunity to practice today, which you know allowed us to get the feel for, for the ice. And I thought the ice was very similar to when we practiced, which is pretty rare when you come in these and, and you practice on a Saturday or Sunday. It's usually different game time. Today it was, it was very similar. Uh, I can see on, in your eyes that was a very draining, tiring game in a lot of ways. And you must be... Uh, satisfied but relieved at the same time. Yeah, all of the above. I think uh, you know they threw everything at us, and uh, we were a little bit off as well. So um, you know, back and forth the whole game. We got a, a huge break in nine. Um, Brad made an unbelievable hit and roll there, and um, you to take that break, and then next thing you know, we're two up playing ten, which is a great position to be in. I know you guys know that team well enough to know that even after two 10 end games today or two full games, you knew they were going to throw everything at you. Oh, absolutely. Like, what, what do you got left to lose, right? You, they've been grinding for the whole thing, and they're playing really well. So, you know, another 10 end game for them, and they're, you know, they're in great shape. They've been through that grind before uh, the Olympics, the Olympic trials, other briars. So you knew they weren't going to back down, and, um, you know, luckily enough, we had the, uh, the right brat on our team. He made it. He, he was unbelievable tonight. So tomorrow, Matt Dunstone in the afternoon, and uh, won't look past that. That's the game you got to get past. What are your thoughts on that team? Yeah, they've been playing great all week as well. You know, they finished second in the round robin. And, uh, um, you know, they probably had a little bit of a hiccup there today, but I'm assuming they're going to come out just as hot as they did against us the other night. So uh, we've got to regroup a little. We'll have a nice chat and try to relax and um, put this one behind us and focus on the semifinal. Don't forget the time change, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for reminding me.